Πόσοι είναι φοιτητέ εδώ μέσα τη σχολή κινηματογράφου. Ωραία, τέλεια. Ε, είμαι πάρα πολύ χαρούμενο που έρχεστε ε, σε αυτό το αφιέρωμα στο μοντάζ ε, που θα αποκαλύψει πολλά από τα μυστικά του. Ε, και επίσης διότι αυτό το αφιέρωμα δεν έγινε τυχαία, αλλά είναι και ένα αφιέρωμα αγάπης σε ένα πρόσωπο που αγαπώ πάρα πολύ. Um, τέλος πάντων, um, we are very honored, we are very pleased to host today one of the best editors of modern cinema. Please welcome Miss Claire Atherton. <laughs> και η Γκέλη Μαδεμλή θα την uh, βοηθήσει σε αυτό τον, uh, το Photo Masterclass. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. So welcome, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. Claire, thanks so much for your presence um, in this festival in the context of the tribute to editing. Um, if I may start by my personal encounter with Claire's work, not, of course, uh, for the sake of an anecdote or for, the, for more context, but only to perhaps suggest um, an entry point to, to uh, an oeuvre that is so rich and has so many layers, that um, a question always lingers, where to start, right? So I can start by my first um, encounters with her work, uh, whose work, rather I knew of her work and I've seen uh, some of her films. One of them was screened, uh, I think a couple of years ago, a film dramatique by Eric Baudelaire. Um, but of course, um, during the first wave of the pandemic, um, I came to see again some of uh, Chantal Ackerman's films um, shattered in my uh, domestic environment. I saw Dest and Laba. And uh, for the first time, perhaps uh, it struck me that editing might be a way to transcend uh, the inner world and go out, uh, go out there, go somewhere uh, in, an, in a different territory that needs to be explored. But uh, other than that, yesterday's meeting, because we had agreed uh, through correspondence to meet and perhaps tackle what we're doing today. Um, we had an interesting trajectory. Uh, I think I was carried away quite a lot um, by festival standardized procedures and okay, we meet in between screenings and arrange and of course time has a totally different uh, perspective and feeling altogether. So there was this sense of, um, I think I felt a bit um, uh, awkward, if I may say that. I felt that um, maybe I had to ask some questions. I was expecting that Claire might have uh, prepared the talk. Um, but then uh, soon I came to realize, as we were walking around the city, listening to different sorts of noises, um, background noises, but also really straightforward noises that dubbed our dialogue, that uh, this wasn't the case. And um, I got to understand in the more um, performative way, more um, emotional way, if you if you will, that uh, maybe that's the way to enter someone's uh, work through a trajectory, through movement, right? And something that evolves in time. So as we were walking closer to the sea, <laughs> some ideas did emerge, did occur. So today, as we are here with you, maybe we, we can repeat this question, right? Where to start? <laughs> or how do you start with um, editing. Um, Galimera. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't speak Greek, but I'm really very happy to be here and to uh, see you all. And thank you for this uh, nice introduction. Uh, yes, it's true that um, uh, it's it's uh, it's it's not uh, possible for me to prepare a, a talk too much, because I need to uh, discover the, the the meaning of 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 what I say w while talking. Uh, otherwise, it's like if uh, everything's ready and I'm just delivering um, a message. So each time, it's. Uh, a new, a new journey, a new discovery, and 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 I don't really know what I will say, and and it's um, in a way uh, it's very linked to um, to the way I, I I work in editing because uh, and also I can take the opportunity to um, 
at the same time, thank you very much to inviting me to make a masterclass and at the same time question this title, masterclass, because I don't really feel that I'm a master. I just, um, I just uh, feel that I'm ready to not to know and to discover, but some of you might answer that it's the real way to be a master, which is, which might be maybe true. But so to answer to Gelly's question, um, yes, it's important for me to know from where we are uh, leaving, what's the uh, departure point, uh, but I don't need and I don't want to know uh, where will I will arrive. It's true in editing, it's true in meeting, and it's also true in uh, my own life. Uh, and I think it's true uh, in everybody's life because movement and, and, and accepting to uh, the mysterious nature of, of life is really part of, the, of our human essence. And I, I like to share this feeling with you because we are in a um, world situation more than society, I mean, that's why I, I, I say world situation, which is very difficult uh, because there are so many fears everywhere of many things, of invasion, of illness now, of so th that the, the, the security need is, is always bigger. And so for th this security need um, focuses us more and more in the need to uh, control everything and know and you know decide your life before beginning to live it, decide your film before beginning to shoot it, decide the meaning of your film before be beginning to edit it, uh, decide who you will meet before the meeting. I mean, uh, I don't want to criticize, but I just, um, I'm, I, I wasn't really aware of that, but I've heard that it's very often that people meet with the uh, apps. Well, it's, it's, all this is, is not, it's not to say that it's wrong. It's just to say that maybe we should question that. And maybe it's also what uh, this, well, I don't want to go too far, but maybe it's 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 something that this pandemic situation can help us to uh, to to um, how do you say to to question to uh, explore uh, this because um, it's like if something stronger than us happened. And of course it's horrible and I'm not saying anything and I'm, I think we should protect ourselves the best we can and everything. But I think that there is something that we can't stand, that something is more powerful than that we, what we are. And I think that's part of life also, to, to be able to accept that's, that, that there are some things that we can't control. So it's maybe a little bit big uh, words for a kind of a small introduction. But I also want to tell you that uh, I, for me it's very important to, to, to share my feelings with you, uh, as you say in French, on, di on French, en direct, so live. So if, if you need or if you want to interrupt or to uh, Gali is going, of course, to ask me some questions. We're going to talk together, but I'm really, we are really more than happy if you have some questions. If sometimes I think I'm clear and I'm not, or uh, Gali asks a question, I answer a different one, or, you know, that can happen. So please feel free to, to interrupt and, and, and I'll be happy to answer you the best I can. And on a side note, if you want to address the question in Greek, because I guess language is also really important uh, in Claire's work, but not in the way that we 
um, tend to think about language. Anyhow, uh, if you want to address it in, in English, in Greek, I'll gladly translate it on the spot. So uh, at any point, do uh, permit this, um, this uh, master class, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. So um, you raised already many, many points indeed, but uh, perhaps this emotional and this instinctual uh, approach to uh, images is something that is, is worth exploring, exactly because we're used to somehow discriminating reason from sentiment, instinct from method, um, but maybe on a an, on an more uh, nuts and bolts way. Maybe you can uh, guide us through your um, room, say, your <laughs> editing room. Yeah, I think, uh, first of all, I think, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's nice. It's, it's, it's the beautiful image to say that I will guide you to my room or editing room. But I want to answer that I think editing is happening not only in the editing room. <laughs> and uh, for a little joke, uh, the first time I went to teach editing in Femis, the French Persian uh, French uh, cinema school, uh, the, the, um, the teachers or the director, I don't remember, told me, uh, I don't know what happens, but since you're here, they're all in the corridor. They're all in the courtyards, uh, talking together, and they're, they're not anymore. I mean, there are very less in the uh, in the editing room. And yes, of course, because I think uh, uh, it's important in editing to meet the other and to talk and to be uh, ready to... When I say to talk, it's not to ask questions such as, what do you want to do, what do you want to say, but just to be able to share feelings, to... Uh, and to listen to what the other says. Uh, I like saying the other because it's, yeah, me as an editing, the other is the filmmaker, but some, if you are a filmmaker, the other is the editor, we are two. So I say the other, so it goes the w two ways around. Um, so may maybe what we exchange is going, is, is, is going from one to another beyond words. Uh, so, and, and, or maybe things go from one to another um, um, with words, but not the words that describe, not the words that give definitions of what we want to do, but words that open the subject or words, sometimes I have the, the intuition or the feeling of, of a film or how to begin a film when I'm talking about something totally different with the filmmaker. It's a... Uh, it's not like the, the language between us is not a language uh, that is supposed to describe or give give uh, uh, orders or or um, informations about the, the project, but to um, build the situation, build an ambience that makes possible things to arise and to come to us. And uh, so yes, you were uh, you were talking about emotion and intuition and 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 thinking and it it, it yeah we talked about it uh, when we reached the sea yesterday. Um, uh, it's it's true that uh, so often people uh, 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 oppose oppose. Uh, yeah, oppose uh, thinking to intuition, or they say that there are uh, narrative films and contemplative films, and all those uh, classifications uh, don't talk to me. Um, I think I'm sure that uh, if intuition is possible, it's because thinking is there also. It's just that it's a free thinking. It's a thinking with the whole body. It's a, it's it's not a, a thinking that leads you, you to a, to to a point knowing knowing what it is. So if if you are open, if if your mind is open, your body is open too. And I I I have this image of 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 the comparison of you know a, 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 an earth where you want to put seeds. To have plants growing, if if you don't, uh, oh, I don't know the word in English, 
labourer. Labor. Yeah. To work with the earth or yeah, you know, um, dig and, and crop. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't, uh, you know, put air in it and clow it. Mm -hmm. So the seeds don't, uh, they can't live. So they die because it's all packed. And, and it's the same thing with intuition. If the, 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 the writing, because often uh, filmmakers are asked to write, uh, and the writing sometimes is, well, for some people it's very difficult, but for others it can be very inspiring because it's writing and, and, and thinking are very linked to each other. And so the thinking uh, is, is this uh, way of, of, of preparing the earth so that the intuition can come. If you, uh, it's important for me to say you that because sometimes when I say yes, it's important to work, um, to work with intuition, I'm misunderstood and people think that it's just, you know, you lie down and you wait for things to come. But it's a little bit more than that, even though um, sometimes when I finish an editing, I have this strange feeling that I didn't really do that much. I, d I don't have the, 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 the feeling that I, fought, uh, I had a fight with the images and I just, I just, it's just I'm, I'm amazed how the film emerges, how it appears and what it tells me and what it continues to tell me even after it's, it's, it's uh, finished. And I'm, I'm, I don't understand how and, and why I did this editing and you know it's that's the main purpose it's when you are in when i'm editing i keep trying to shut down this voice which is inside of each one of us which is asking me what are you doing why are you doing that are you sure about what you're doing um, what will it mean to put this uh, image after that one. Why did you put the sound lower? You know, all those questions. So it happens when, <laughs> when I work with a new filmmaker that I tell him or her that so that I don't have from her or him those questions. But usually I don't have to because we meet for good reasons. So they know me uh, already. But it's all those voices, inner voices, they are, are, um, they are keeping us from being linked to what is uh, coming from inside of, 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 of us and that can give us the uh, inspiration to uh, choose one image and put it there. It's not, it's not because you decide that you want to say something and then and, and then you have to and then you go and search for the image that, that say what you want to say. It's the opposite way. My practice is the opposite way. I receive the images really with all my heart and all my body, um, and I listen to them. I don't judge them. I I don't try to understand them. I respect their secrets and. I don't watch so many hours of rushes a day. I'm talking about the moment where I discover the images, you know, the derochage. I don't watch the image so many hours because at one point you are tired. And if you are tired, you might think that the, image are, are, the images are not strong or that they don't uh, talk to you or that it, they're not you know, um, full of tension, but it's just that you are tired because it's very tiring to look at images for more than five, six, seven hours, you know, and especially with new images and especially when you don't know what's going to be done. You don't know, so you keep asking yourself some questions. Uh, what does that mean? And exactly that, as I was, uh, trying to explain yesterday when I uh, introduced uh, the mirror, I don't know if you were here, uh, if you were there, but it's, it's this little voice that always wants you 
wants us to understand because it's very frightening to jump, in, jump into the emptiness. It's, it's normal that we want to have this reassurant voice uh, situation. And even for me talking to you, uh, I always say, yeah, I can't prepare. And it's true. But in the side of myself, uh, sometimes I'm telling, I'm, I'm thinking I should prepare and I should know because it would be so much more comfortable and I would be less, uh, you know, emotive, less uh, anxious to share, to, to give you the best I can. But it's not possible. And it's like uh, Chantal uh, Ackerman. I don't know if you know her work. I worked with her for more than 30 years. And she, she, she wrote, uh, that she, said, she often said that she didn't want to know where, what she would uh, find when she uh, was going to make a film. Because if she knew, so the, 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 the film was almost, uh, uh, she, she, no, it, she, she said that if she knew what she wanted to say and to find, so she would be much less involved in the movement of going where she wants or where she needs or where she feels a desire to go. So it's the same uh, approach. Uh, I don't think our approaches come from the same place uh, or from have the same origin. Uh, for me, the the origin, I think, is of, of this feeling, of this way of thinking, is um, probably linked to, to uh, uh, w when... It's always difficult, I think, I feel that when, you know, what you, when you're telling things about how, uh, about your life, what happened when you were a kid, or, because in a certain way, I mean, I always have the feeling that it's the beginning of lying, you know, because you're telling a story. But this story is, so I had always those uh, problems with words, with words explaining, even when I was a kid. And I was, even when I had to share my feelings about, you know, anything in life, um, it was difficult for me because when people were listening to me, they were explaining and putting words that were stop my my feelings, stop the movement of what I was feeling. So I kept saying, no, 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 it's not that. It's a little bit, but also a little bit of that, you know? And in images, my relationship to images were was much more free, if I can use this difficult word, because it's not easy to feel free, but it was more, you know, I felt my space, my own space, my own... Um, I didn't th think that I didn't have the feeling that the the image was was stopping my my emotions, what my 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 feelings. So I so I I like to draw or to look at images more than no, it's not true because I liked also to read. But it's about t talking about myself, you know, as a kid. And uh, and after I was also very when I was a little bit uh, older, uh, I I don't remember when I I met this, but I was very interested and even passionate by uh, by uh, the Chinese writing uh, because the Chinese. But I didn't really know why at that time. It's after when I had this. A reflection about my life and what led me where, that I questioned myself about this interest in Chinese language and I realized what's, it was not more than 10 or 12 years ago that I made this link between the Chinese language, my, my interest in, in, in Taoist philosophy and my way of, of practicing editing. Um, and you know, Chinese language is Chinese writing is based on association of images and the association of images provoke signification and even many layers of signification. And it can be association of images inside one character or it can be uh, 
some words put together that uh, provoke a, a new signification. I can give you some examples, just um, not writing the, but just talking. For, for example, for to say house or home, they they put a little roof and then a little pig and then a little fire. So it's that's home because you know, and to say uh, for example, uh, uh, good or great. Uh, they put a woman and a, and, a, and a son. Well, you can question that, but... And, and I did when I discovered, but, you know, it's, it's like... <laughs> and there are so, some others, uh, other also associations. I, I, this one I love is... And I discovered it again when I went to Taiwan a few years ago to, to make a conference, and I was quite um, anxious because I was talking to Chinese people, so I was a little bit shy to talk about Taoism, but, but it was great. And, and I, I went uh, and I saw on the, I was uh, climbing a stair, and I saw two Chinese characters. I, show, I saw the, the character that's, that uh, means uh, little or small, and then heart. And I remember that it means xiao xin, and xiao xin, little heart, it means be careful. So I was so I was really very moved. I had totally forgotten this. And also to say that you go for for a, a, a walk, se uh, promener in French. They said, oh, I don't know how to say it in French. You are going to help me? It's uh, éparpiller ses pas. So it means uh, spread out your footsteps. Huh? Yeah. So it's a very it's 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 a lot uh, linked to images and to uh, uh, and, and and those images put together provoke n not only one signification because you have those association and you have also the phonetic association and you have of you have also and you have also the writing association which is not linked to the signification one that I just mentioned with the, 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 the home and the, and the, the good, but also uh, when there are many, many, many little um, black uh, um, points or dots, yes, it, it's, it's, it provokes, uh, it's more, you know, light than when you have plain dots um, and, and you know, and it's more black, and that also leads to a feeling and and to a signification. And when what I love in in this in this way of talking in, in is that the the, the the signification comes from from words, but also from sound and from uh, what you see. So, yeah, when I I, I was really amazed when. Uh, the first time I was asked, how did you become an editor? And I began to ask myself, how did it happen? Uh, why am I an editor? And I thought about uh, Chinese language and all this. And so, yeah, I built a story about that. But it's not a, a, a false story. It's a, but sometimes it, it... No, it's true, but... Uh, when pe when I when you, when people s tell their their life, you have the feeling that they knew what would happen. Like if I say I studied ch Chinese to do editing, which is really wrong, and for me it's really important to share that with you because, as I said that in the first uh, in my first introduction, I think we are in a situation where uh, we are asked to know. Where, where, where we, what we want to do to build a career, to be able to earn a living. And I understand all this really very well, and I don't say it's not important, but at the same time, um, life is, uh, is to be open. And even if you do uh, uh, difficult uh, jobs, I think the main thing is to be open to anything that can happen and to listen to what, what's inside of you to be editor or something else. I mean, that's not, uh, and I, I say that because uh, when I talk sometimes, I, 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 I'm afraid that people think that I'm, I was always very, you know, open to uh, uh, art and, 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 and um, 
philosophy and Taoism, you know, like uh, spiritual. And it's not true. I was also a, a technician. I, I worked for the French TV. And I loved also mathematics, physics. I love being organized, you know. And all this is, and you don't have to be organized, but I mean, everything is part of life. There is not art in a way and, and, and in there and, and life there. It's linked. And you can, whatever we do, we can do it with this uh, state of mind. I guess, uh, so. So uh, while you were first describing your, uh, um, your voices, say, the voices that coexist within, um, somehow I was thinking that perhaps the voices that are opposed, that are projected on us are somehow come before the event. The retrospective reading of theirs comes after. What, what I'm geared here is the moment and what happens in the present, really. And what happens, what sort of voices do we hear when we are actually in the present and we're trying to do something. And, well, this is probably an open question in itself, but uh, when you were describing this array of emotions in the beginning, I, I, I st stuck in the, in the word fear, exactly because um, I was thinking that maybe an image can evoke fear in the editing room or anywhere, actually. And freedom can also be, or we are taught maybe that it can be fearsome as well. You know, it's not really a question here, but I guess there's a political imperative there try to overcome this uh, sense of fear that perhaps doesn't come from within, but all primarily is a battle there when you're trying to make meaning out of... Um, yes, of course. I, I, it, it, it's true. It's, uh, it's often uh, uh, the fear of, of uh, not being understood or not to be, uh, not to find, um, you know, uh, to, uh, I talk for filmmakers now. Uh, often filmmakers have those fears not to be understood or not, uh, their, their films are not shown in festivals or they don't find money. And it's a very, very hard path and a very long journey to make a film and and um, and I understand this fear. I mean, I I, it's normal. Uh, I think somebody who doesn't fear or he who doesn't uh, feel that it's uh, difficult, it's a challenge. It's uh, it's 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 weird. I mean, it's um, it's a journey to make a film. But what I'm trying to share with you uh, now is that in the editing room and in the editing space. Uh, it's, it, we have, as editors, I don't know if some of you are interested in, in, in being editors and editing films. Uh, I, I, say, I like better saying editing film than to be an editor because we are much more than our uh, métier, our job. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, is, is that we have, as editors, also a, a big responsibility, even a huge responsibility, which is to help the filmmaker, the other, to, to, to overcome this fear and, and to be really in, 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 um, involved in, in his own film and his own uh, journey. Uh, and because it's the moment w in in when you shoot a film, I think you know there is this present, this presence that you are talking about. Well, some people are also in shooting want to control, but there is always something happening that you can't uh, imagine that you can't. Uh, predict. Um, so um, in, in in shooting, there is this uh, unknown, this non-predictable uh, issues. But in editing, it's where um, all of a sudden 
you can uh, be more close and, and say, okay, now I will control everything because now I have time and I can decide what I'm going to say, so my film will be great. And so you close everything. And we as editor have this responsibility to make possible also this unknown uh, um, uh, journey and trajectory. And where, where this uh, process is political is in the way that uh, if a film doesn't, uh, if, if, you, if you let a film grow with, on, uh, with its own rhythm, the rhythm of the work itself is very important. All editing is about rhythm. Of course, and we can maybe come back to that after. But the rhythm of the work itself, how you work, when you look at images, how many hours, when do you go out, where do you eat, is there a couch in the, in the editing room? If there is not, because often there is not, where can you go to, 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 to see each other in a different situation? All this is part of the rhythm of the editing. And if the, if, if, if during the editing you work in the way of, of letting meanings arise and come to you, so the film grows with the work, and so the film is not closed in a, in a particular meaning, it's alive, and after, it's when people uh, discover the film, like I, exactly like I told you about the mirror yesterday night, it, it the, the public, the audience, the, the, the people who see the film, they are themselves in movement, they are themselves questioning, and they are themselves um, um, building meanings, new meanings. And even I, I, each time I see the mirror, I have new words, new situations, new, new emotions coming to me, and, and it's such a huge pleasure. And, and so so strong. And where it's political, it's of course because what is more political than to uh, provoke the, the 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 audience, the the viewers to think, to be in movement. I think the 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 a film is 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 important and political beyond its subject. It's not because a film talks about the migrants that it's a political film. It's the way it talks, I, I say migrants. It was it, I didn't really think. I mean about anything, and 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 that's the of course very very important in the work I shared with uh, with uh, Chantal Ackerman because her her way of of making cinema is political in in that meaning. Um, so I I don't remember your question. Uh, but since you, we moved to Chantal Ackerman's work, and I guess I, I used the room, the used the word room uh, earlier for a reason, exactly because rooms are very present in Chantal's work. Um, maybe we can speak with an example from maybe from the East, mm -hmm. exactly because somehow it, it starts from a point in time in early 90s. Um, somehow it traverses uh, Soviet Union with a very sp in a very specific political moment. And somehow it seems that this different journey, this different movement through landscapes and people has a very different political meaning that, that, than the one that was around, uh, I don't know, popular media, say, in the 90s. Maybe some insight into the way you worked around that film can be interesting. Yes, so it's, 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 it's always very difficult for me to show pieces of a, a film because a film is so much... Uh, uh, linked to the, its own rhythm and significant by its own rhythm and f going from the beginning and and crossing the middle and then you know and 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 arriving to the end and then create creating all those uh, movements inside of of each of us that just to show a, a little piece is, is is very difficult but i thought that Maybe it would be interesting because I don't know uh, if you know this work, so maybe it's a little bit abstract, everything I say. So we can, of course, I can, of course, share with you a, a, a piece of this, uh, except if you say that you've all seen it and you'd rather 
go on talking. I mean, <laughs> nobody says anything. So um, <laughs> uh, you want to see? So okay, great. Uh, no, I'm happy to share it with you. But uh, so just a few words about this film. It's it's uh, it, it, it's. Uh, Usually I don't show that film of Chantal because I, it's a film which is so much built as a uh, composition. It's uh, Some people have compared it to an elegy. It's uh, really a film that, that talks by, by its own uh, um, plastical and organic uh, vibrations. And so usually I, say, I feel it's too short, but I, I decided to, to, to show it today. I don't know why. And um, it's, a, it's a film, uh, it's, in fact, I think it's a very important film for concerning uh, our collaboration, Chantal and, and me together. We had worked together before, uh, we met by chance, by the way. Uh, we didn't meet in an editing process. We met because since I was a video technician, as I told you, I like to do many different things and not only art things. And so I was a video technician and, and, and um, for a, a little bit complicated reasons, I was asked to uh, go with Chantal and to take the equipment, the video equipment with her and to uh, help her to film or to, uh, to record. Uh, you know, it wasn't for a film, it was for TV, so just record uh, the, the, a play in which Delphine Serig, a French actor, actress, uh, I guess you know her, uh, was playing in with her niece, and so uh, I, w I went there to uh, I went there to um, I went there to uh, help Chantal, and we when we arrived uh, at the at, in the theater uh, room, another room. Um, uh, it was there was p public, and uh, I installed the camera and everything. And at the moment where she had to film, and I was supposed to focus, and I had installed everything. I loved doing that, helping the other to go shooting. I, I was I, I liked to do that. And at, at the very moment she had to film, she said, "Do it yourself. I don't feel comfortable there." And I said, "Wow, I was I was very young, like uh, I I was kind of yes, I think I was 21, and I didn't really have I mean I didn't at all have the 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 the, the time to to be to to feel fear or anything. Uh, I I just I just I just did it because we were together and we had to do it, and and uh, each time I was." My, my, I was putting the camera towards Delphine or more towards her niece or, you know, folk, um, zooming more. Uh, she was about to tell me to do it. So we had an immediate link, very strong. And, and right after the, 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 the meeting, she went to see Delphine, who was on stage. I remember the stage was about this height. And I was there with the camera and Delphine was standing and, and Chantal was on the floor right there, and she was she, she was not very she was quite tall uh, she wasn't tall she was quite uh, uh, short yes and she was looking up because Delphine was very tall and of, also she was on the <laughs> podium and she said and I was you know there and she said who is this little one there I want to work with her she's great you know but we had never uh, done anything together except that. And then after the thing was to work together, she didn't know if it was editing or, or shooting, or she didn't know what I knew, but she just knew that. And that was in, in yeah, that was quite early in 84. And, and then after that, we made some little video films. She, she always liked 
love discovering everything, different different way of of of, of creating, uh, different um, um, techniques. So she was very happy to discover video that she didn't really know, and I was a video technician, so I could I could share that with her, and very after. Uh, Ten or more years after, we discovered another area, which is another um, space, which is the space of the installations, video installations, but we're not going to talk about that right now. And then, uh, a few years after um, this meeting, uh, the play was called Letters Home, and after she decided to make a film out of this play. And so she she asked me to edit this film, and we did some other things. Well, I'm not going to talk about everything, but then in '94, so ten years after, we 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 uh, edited this film, Dest, and it was a very very strong moment. We it's um, we we never shared when we were. Um, um, discovering the images, we were n we never talked about what the images were uh, made us think of, uh, or were probably ref referring to. We were just sharing our thoughts about uh, the sounds, the colors, the rhythm. We were talking about the, the geometric lines, uh, the the contrasts. Everything that oh, very organic, and I was feeling that there was something uh, that was carried by all the images, and that was very mysterious, and that we didn't want to, we couldn't talk about this um, myster mystery because if we had tried to understand it, our our gestures, our movements would have been much heavier and we wouldn't have been able to find the film. And that's, of course, very much linked to everything I'm sharing with you since the beginning, which is this way of not knowing where you are going and discover while doing. And uh, so I'll, I'll show you this, the, the, the part of this film. It's an eight minutes part. It's um, not the beginning of the film. It's uh, not the end either, but uh, towards the end. And uh, yes, she wrote a text uh, saying that what she wanted to 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 go and 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 search for there is was not her personal roots, or was not uh, she didn't even she didn't either want to make a documentary about a world that was going to end because it was the 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 end of the wall uh, between east and west but she had made a trip uh, in in eastern europe and she had felt so many familiar so many things familiar and she wanted to go back and to film everything that moved her so okay so now i'm showing so i had a little um training before with nikos i'll try to be um to do thing right is it okay the computer for you
Вот так вот на. Давай. Yes, so, so um, wa watching this this moment of the film with you, um, I, you know, it reminds me of of what I was I was telling you at the very beginning of our meeting. Um, <laughs> about uh, how. Um, um, how the editing is to uh, create the space where the the images can be really can can have their real breathing, and 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 I see those um, when I see those little movements of of the little uh, boy with the car on the I it it is it's very moving but I. Had I remember that the the film is is very much constructed between some interior shots and exterior shots. Um, most of the interior shots are fixed, and some 
and outside shots are e either moving or not. And it was very uh, difficult and, and also, I say difficult, but it wasn't a, a, a suffering. I mean, it was just sometimes difficult to find the right way to put the images together so that the, the for example, this little car and this little boy, we had the space to see him and to, for for me, I hope for you too, to be very much uh, linked to him and very much moved by his little gesture. And for example, if we put, we tried to put this image after a, an outside shot, and the 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 image wasn't breathing. It was just like a little boy playing with his car, but nothing more. And all the editing is about that. How do you put the images together to find, to go, to go back to the, what the image have in themselves, but in an invisible way? I say go back because I think the images are uh, full of, of I I mysterious and invisible meanings. And the, the, it, so when I say go back, it's because I don't want to say that the editing is creating this. The editing is revealing this. And so you have to be very humble to be an editor, just to be very much listening. And so that each image has its own uh, strength and tension. And so, and, and okay, so about this little boy. And also the woman um, walking in the corridor and then just putting her hand on the son's, uh, for me it's her son, but, Shoulder. It reminds me of the the Chinese, uh, <laughs> but that's a joke. Um, it, it's it's also very moving because I'm uh, when I say because it's not we did it uh, because it's a grandmother and then a mother and but if if it came after a moving shot, also it didn't work. So we had to find a way of putting things together so that create a a, a, a way of they a resonance between them and and that's the real work of the rhythm in in the in the in the film it's to uh, create a, a, a réseau um, um, a network well it's not very nice I, what, how do you say for a spider a toile yeah in toile <laughs> of resonances that that uh, all together uh, create some kinds of of signification different ones and and um, and another thing I, I came to me when I was watching is that the, the, you might maybe have noticed that uh, the sound of the last shot of the blue traveling uh, tracking shot is 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 not uh, so called real. So we worked on it also. And for me, um, it's important to to say that um, it's not uh, because you change the sound or you. Uh, uh, you know, you work on the sound to sometimes go to silence or do bruitage, I don't know the word. Follies, yeah, yeah, thank you. Because <laughs> um, we did some follies in, the, in, in this film for the uh, steps of the, in the snow. And all this work on sound is, 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 uh, is a way to get more deep into something that I don't want to call reality because I don't really know what it is, but some kind of a little piece of truth, which means the essence of, of, of what is living and what is uh, being human. And, and, and so I, I feel that this, and this, this work on, on sound really creates this, the, it is part of the relationship that's created between uh, the, those people we see and, 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 and us. Uh, it's uh, it it was uh, filmed uh, on the, the roof of a of a car, and uh, I don't know. It's a mystery. 
<laughs> I think Chantal was a magician. So, and I could I could show you some other extracts of, uh, and and I would I think some of you would ask me similar questions. How did she get those people to talk to her like this? But she was special. She was uh, she has had this uh, very special gaze, uh, very green, very strong. She was. Uh, um, she was standing in front of you or next to you with so much, um, so much uh, presence that things happened. And I, 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 there is here a, a very good friend of Chantal right um, in front of me, and I'm sure she agrees. But it was she was special. She was uh, so I don't know how she did that. Uh, for me, it's. Uh, and and in a way, I don't want to know. I didn't. I never asked these kind of questions to the filmmakers, Chantal or others, because I like that uh, there is this mystery of of of, uh, of creation that I I don't want to know how it was made. I I I want to discover. I want to be. I, I and you know, I it makes me think. I don't have the at all the sense of orientation. I get lost everywhere. Here it's difficult because there is the sea and and the ground going. <laughs> but I could, we did, uh, for 10 minutes, but just before an important meeting, I get lost often. And it happened to me the first time I was at the jury of the Femis and uh, I went to the toilets and and I, I, I went out by the other door, because there are two doors. And then I was lost in the famous. I said, where's the jury? And they said, well, it's private. I said, yes, I know. So why do you want to go? Because I'm part of a jury. But what are you doing here? I know. I don't know. Well, <laughs> so I was, uh, I was very uh, ashamed of this, um, of this uh, particular, uh, particularity I have to be lost everywhere. And, and, and now I feel that uh, uh, for s some time of the feeling that it helps me to edit because I get lost in the geographic of the shooting. I don't know where it is. I don't know what angle. I don't know what I should respect as being vraisemblable. Um, yeah. And, and uh, resembles, yes. But I cr and so it helps me to create a new geography, a new path, a new, a new network of 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 the film itself, and it's it's it 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 helps me to feel this this freedom we're talking since the beginning, and which is difficult, of course, to to know what it is. But this feeling that something is possible, that uh, um, that something will emerge, this confidence in, some, in, 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 in what's going to happen. And yeah, and another particularity I have is that I, I'm, I, I'm very much able to forget. I don't remember what shot I put after another. Chantal was very, uh, knew very better than me what would come when we edited the film, she knew what shot would come after another. I kept forgetting, and I'm sure it's linked to the way I do it. I do it in a, in a seem, um, half consciously. So if I n knew the reason why I did things, I would remember, because you remember the path of your mind. But since I don't want to follow this little inner voice, I, would, I want to, I, I talked to you at the beginning. So it creates something that I do with my whole body without really knowing, being in a kind of blindness, but not blindness because I don't look, but blindness because I'm not conscious of what's going on. For me, the consciousness is very different from the presence. Presence is if you if you're not present, present nothing happens. But you don't have to be conscious. You don't have to be uh, knowing what's 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 going on at the moment. That's that's uh, for me to try to know all the time is the the negation of of, of living in a, in a way, and all the 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 purpose is to uh, to welcome this this living that we have and that we we should really protect our. <laughs> I mean. Well, maybe I'd go too far, but um, 
the question was about the other shooting. No. <laughs> Is there any element of repetition in this uh, process that you describe? Well, actually, I, I had in mind a film you didn't edit, uh, Jean Dillman, who has all this, where well, we see all these rituals, this, because the element of surprise, of course, comes from novel things, but when you're surprised by something that is perpetual and is imminent and is there, maybe has a different caliber. Yeah, but I'm 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 really sorry, but I don't want to talk about Jean Dillman oh, no. because I, I didn't edit the film. I I feel it's a really it's, a, it's such a f an enormous film and 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 so strong. But it's true that uh, I'm I'm so much uh, linked to Chantal uh, in the minds of people, and I don't want because it's I'm it's sorry. really no, no. sorry to interrupt, no. but I didn't ask about Jean Dillman. Yeah. I'm just uh, bringing my own trajectory and my own uh, reasoning to asking you whether you have your own rituals or your own repetitions in this okay. process. I, 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 so I, that's I'm the, sorry. I'm just giving you my trajectory here as yeah. well. So no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, we we had yes a lot of rituals. I mean, I'm some. Uh, I'm I I I think that's something that we shared with Chantal. Uh, uh, yes, for me, it's very important at, uh, to to uh, discover everything, but also to have some moments that are uh, that yes, we can. For example, it's, it, it, it's, it seems very simple, but uh, for example, um, we, we had the same way of always uh, watching the film that we were uh, uh, in the process of editing in the morning. Uh, and before watching, we were always having a little coffee and talking about something else. But I I even it was... Uh, sometimes how was your how did you sleep that night or what did you do uh, yesterday afternoon or what do you think of that or you know or anything but not about the film so that we could be really prepared to uh, to see the film without uh, this um, uh, wait without waiting for anything special without a particular expectation so you know it's like empty your mind and be really prepared to, to, to do it. So well, now I, I, I drink less coffee, but I, I, when Chantal was, was uh, when I worked with Chantal, she knew that for me it was very important to have coffee. So it happened sometimes I was arriving and she was opening the door and right away they said, I have no coffee. <laughs> and it was just the, 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 the main problem we had, you know, so we had to, it was very important and, uh, and also, I need light in the editing room. I need to go from darkness to light because if it's always dark, my eyes are tired. And also, uh, it's always diff it's all it's important to see images in different contexts each time. Not always in the dark, but in, so that when you turn off the light, something different comes. You know, so that's all my little rituals to 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 uh, be able to not lose the relationship, organic relationship to images, because of course that's a very frequent question from the young editors. How do you uh, preserve this relation? Often I, I, I hear them and also young filmmakers saying, I lost my relationship to images, I don't know anymore. And yeah, it, the, this process of, of forgetting and of rediscovering each time in a very, uh, very uh, um, good or conditions that suit you. I mean, when I say good, for me and for Chantal also, it was in the morning after the coffee, but for some people it could be uh, 10 o'clock at night, so it can be difficult for some, but you can find ways and, you know, but you have to uh, to really to 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 understand and, and accept that the, the f a film growing is alive and that you are also alive. So it's not something that you just check on. You know, some I I hear s often young people say, "I'm I'll check my edit," but you can't check an edit. You can check a computer or the sound or but a, a film you can't check. You have to feel it, and one day you know it's there but you can't check it. And for me, all those words that we use are not helping us to, uh, to, un to, 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 to create and preserve and keep this re uh, alive relationship to the, to the creation of the film. And, and also how it 
continues to live after the, the work we shared. Να σας φέρουμε ένα μικρόφωνο μόνο για να σας ακούνε πίσω. But uh, that's an interesting thing after one hour of talking about your process. Mm. <laughs> This last First uh, of all, thank you. It was a revelation for me, your presentation. Thank you. Uh, secondly, just a little bit of question. Is you use the word uh, re? Uh, Uh, you, you see the image and mm -hmm. you are rediscovering it. Mm -hmm. Could you say you are recalling it? Recalling your memory? I don't understand what you said. If, uh, can I say? Can I say? Can I say? If you bring it back in your mind. If, if you recall your, uh, the feelings. Oh, how do I recall the feelings after uh, having you, discovered? You, 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 you rediscover or you recall it? If you start, if you, if you discover it from, from my image? I, I, it, it, I, uh, sorry. I discovered the images at the beginning when I'm looking at the rushes. That's the okay. First time. That first time. And then after, uh, you mean... Uh, you, you forget everything. No, I don't really forget. No, no. When I say that I forget, I forget the, the, the path or what led me to put this image after another. I don't forget the images. Some I forget, but I don't forget the images. Otherwise, I can't have the desire to go and pick this one, you know. Then, so the other thing I do is, it's true, it's, I'm not that precise, but uh, it's, it's, uh, I, I always write uh, uh, about the images, but very simple words. Um, on paper, not on computer. I, I don't like computers, in fact. Well, it's very, it's great, but uh, it's, uh, well. Um, so I always write on paper, and, and, uh, and after this, this notebook, I can refer to it very easily. So I have a kind of very uh, co uh, particular and ritualistic organization. In fact, it's not a notebook, it's a... Uh, Uh, in uh, classeur. But as I you know, it's papers it, and, and they're with, uh, you know, you put them together. You recall it, you, do, you don't rediscover it, you recall. And, oh, yeah, okay. And <laughs> Just to understand how you feel. Because well, it's both, that's why ah, I was, uh, yeah, both. because both. I have this, this, this notebook and sometimes I, I just go back, to, because the, the, no, the notes are really in the order of the shooting. For me it's important, because otherwise it creates a new order which could be the order of the film. I don't want that. So the order of the shooting or of the sequences of a film when, when it's fe feature film, the, oh, oh, it's the, the order of the name of the cart and everything. So that's a, um, an, an ordre uh, bet, of, uh, I mean um, just organization. And then after you can go If you, if you, if sometimes something uh, makes you the desire to go back to what you wrote, it's an organization which is very simple. So, to answer your question, sometimes I have the feeling that I saw an image that could be um, that that I want to put there or to open the film with, and so sometimes I go and see back in my notebook what I wrote. Or sometimes I remember that I wrote something in the upper right side uh, and I said, what did I write at that moment? Maybe it's something that's linked at, to what we're doing now. You know, that's, and when I say that I rediscover, I rediscover uh, when the editing is growing. It means that the, 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 the first time you meet the images, you, you see the shots from the beginning to the end. And then after when we, you try to edit, it doesn't mean that you're going to uh, leave the, uh, the, all the shots from the beginning to the end, of course. But you listen to the inner organic life of the, sh of the shots and you put them together and sometimes to get the give the possibility to the second shot to exist, you have to cut a little bit more the first, so the second is a continuation of the first, or a rupture, or, you know. And so after this have, the, this beginning of constructions, 
uh, you rediscover. And as Chantal used to say, when the film begins to exist, it leads us. I mean, so the most difficult is the beginning to go back to our beginning. It's really to how you get into it. And very often, I have to try, make my tries of the beginning of the film alone. Because otherwise it's, it's too intimate and you are shy, even after having edited many films. It's just like, you're like, don't watch. I'm, I'm not sure, I don't know. It's just like, you know, when you are, it's intimate. So sometimes even I do it, I do some tries. I, 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 I call them tries. Uh, and and I, I arrive a little bit earlier in the morning at the editing room and I do some tries and I hide them because I don't want the filmmaker to know that I tried. Sometimes it's too, too much to see images, see images, see images and not do anything, just see and, and, and you're just, and you, you, you feel the need to try, but you don't know. So, and sometimes those try, they stay and they are at the beginning of the film, sometimes not. But when you rediscover the tries with the filmmaker, with the other, so you know, if it's right or no. And when it's right, the film begins to exist. And if it's not right, you know a little more and you try something else. You know, that's the path. And all this is very, yeah, many rituals fr from me to myself, I mean, between me and myself and, and between me and the other, I'm the other and myself also. It's, and also between the images and myself. I know that for some, 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 for example, sometimes I don't, I want to recall a, a, an image, but I just want to see the first image. I don't want to see it uh, uh, because otherwise I ha will have seen it too many times. So I just, oh, okay, it's this one. I think I remember something. I'll try like this and you cut the end and then you forget you do something else and then you see what it, you know, it's very difficult to, to, to explain, but it's uh, all those way of doing, forgetting, rediscovering, uh, undo, uh, and, but not too fast. The difference, w if I say I don't like a computer, it's not true, really, but it's that they take too much uh, space and, and, and they go, they're, go, they're too quick. So uh, when I used to edit with uh, um, celluloid, so you, you, you want to cut, and between the time where you cut and the time where you put again together, you put the scotch and you see, it's a lot of time passing. And in this time, you can forget, you can, you know, your brain is elsewhere. And now we always click, you have the beginning of an idea, you click, you see, and, you, and you suffocate. You know, you don't know. So you have to, I mean, I say you have, it's not, it's not rules, it's just I have to, so I guess you also, but it's important for me to uh, forget and to let this time uh, go, so I, I, I do a try, and then I go and I walk in the editing room and I go to see the window, and if there is no window because the editing room is very small, I go elsewhere, and you know, it's, I go out or, and, and then, or I go and work another part of the film. I like also very much working on technical uh, issues like uh, re-giving new names to the shots or organizing all my bins. I want all my bins always to <laughs> open at the same place. When I see people, they have bins all the way and, and ho horrible names of clips like uh, W, uh, W, uh, M, V, uh, 5, blah, blah, blah. It's just, it's disgusting for me. I can't edit with names like that. It's just like, no, it's, uh, it's not beautiful. It's horrible. It's gray. It's, uh, so I put colors because it's uh, nicer and everything's important. I mean, really. And uh, <laughs> recently I worked with a, 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 a Greek filmmaker from Thessalonik. And, and uh, actually, it's, it's moving for me to, to be here because uh, her shooting took place right next to Thessalonik in the uh, uh, shipyard. And uh, yeah, we edited a few weeks ago. We haven't finished yet. And she's from here. She was here until three days ago. And we edited together and, and, and she was, um, she was uh, uh, preparing me a very, very, really good lunch. It was very important too, you know. And for her, yeah, I did those tries without her. I, I, it, 
she gave me a key of the studio because she understood and she uh, and, and I, I made my tries without telling her and then the film came I, I hope maybe I can share it with you once one day when it's finished but uh, th everything thank you for your answer but I don't know if my conclusion is correct or no Sorry. It's, it's a mixture of <laughs> it's a mixture. Food, family, and philosophy. It's um, it's the, the the second title of a, a film of. Shantai. I studied philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um. but speaking about closures on different levels, um, we we spoke about the first image and how to start. But is the last image something that resonates with you when you, you know, when you finish a film? Uh, the the last image sometimes you you y yes it's important it happens that you know it a uh, before the end the end of the um, of the editing it's true that I edit uh, in the yeah I didn't say that but I I begin my the first uh, I begin to edit the film from its beginning the first shots are very important but when i say the first shots it's the beginning of how you get into the film and then i build it until the end it happens that some that 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 some sometimes that the the the, the last shot is this decided from the beginning but it's often i'm not even if it seems to be sure i behave as if as if i wasn't really sure otherwise it closes but it can happen that it's true. Uh, for a film of uh, Christophe Bisson, uh, uh, Au Monde, uh, Into the World, I think in English, it's, uh, he knew that the last shot would be the, 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 the character walking to us and the lights opening. It, but I had to forget it and to f let it come again. But for, for, for example, for No Home Movie, I don't know if you've seen this film, but we had, well, it's a particular editing uh, particular film also, but we thought during a long time of the editing that the film would end with uh, Chantal reading in English with a blue shirt uh, parts of her book, uh, My Mother Laughs. And it was like this, but in the end, it's not. I mean, it's, but it helped us to edit, to know that we had, because it was a maybe a probably more difficult film to edit than the others because more in emotional in 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 involvement but but also but also very happy moment to uh, to share it wasn't a sad moment it's the last chantal's last film and it's about her mother's death if you don't uh, know the film and we we thought that it would end with with this shot and it helped us to you know to 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 have a you know kind of a, a to look at somebody, uh, to look at something at the end, but sometimes you need this kind of of of, of beliefs, but you are not sure they're real beliefs. Also, in in the film South, I don't know if you know about it. It's filmed in the in in the south of the of the United States, and and we thought we were very much look uh, uh, listening to. Uh, uh, Strange Fruits, uh, the the song by, oh, no, no, it's not Nina Simone, uh, uh, no, thank you, <laughs> Billy Holiday, um, uh, but they all sing it, but it was this one, and, uh, and, and we even thought at some points that it would be or could be in the film, but we didn't really think it would be at the same time, you know, but it was there, and, s and sometimes, in some editings, you, 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 in some process of editings, you know that an image is there, but you're not sure that it will stay. But you, ne you need it to go further. And, and when you take it out, all of a sudden the film is breathing. But if you take it out too early, so you can't build the, the because you, it's like if you, a, st a step is lacking. So your brain is blocked because something is lacking. So you put it, you know, it's like a step. And then the film is stronger, so you can take it out. You know, like to get to uh, something that's a little bit too high, you have to put a little uh, box. And then when you're higher, you can take out the box and jump. It's the same thing. You can take something, some, 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 at some points you have to, y you keep images to go further. And then when you take them out, 
it's like a, a new geography, a new story, a new a new breathing. Uh, this will have to be our last question, I'm afraid. Mm. But um, just no, 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 just giving a. Σε αυτό πάνω το τελευταίο που είπε, το πιο σημαντικό στο μοντάζ είναι το τι θα κρατήσεις, ναι, ε, το τι θα κρατήσεις ή το τι θα διώξεις. Και δεύτερον, ε, μίλησε πριν για το φόβο των κινηματογραφιστών, αν γίνονται κατανοητοί ή όχι. Ε, μετά από τόσα χρόνια εμπειρίας, είπε, βοηθάω εγώ με τη δουλειά μου στο να τους φύγει όσο το δυνατόν λιγότερο φόβο. Τι πιστεύει, τι θα χρειαζόταν για να φύγει αυτός ο φόβος. So a gentleman would like to ask a two-part question. The first is regarding on the last thing you uh, started uh, ex uh, explaining about the... Um, and the question in specific is what is more important in editing? What you keep in the end or what you leave aside? And that's the first part. And the second has to do with young um, filmmakers, young editors and filmmakers, and their, their, what you mentioned as fear of not being understood, of not being perceptible. So, uh, after all this experience of yours, what is it do you think that needs to be overcome, if I understand it right? And how, how herself or any other can uh, assist in... Basically, the question was generally for the cinematography artists, not only... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I gather she will answer for the first one. Uh, uh, well, I begin with the first part. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I, it's difficult, but I, I think... Still, the, I think uh, a film is important by the, the images that's in it. But also, you're right, in, in the images that it creates that, that, that are not in the film, but not the ones that are left aside, but all the, the, all the um, in, different and invisible links that it creates. But I don't know if we, we can say that well, it depends because it's it happens that it happened to me once with a Hungarian filmmaker that um, the whole film was built around a missing image, and it's true that it's it's I I don't work only with existing images. I also work with missing images. What I mean is that it never happens to me to see the, 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 the images of a film and say, okay, it's good, but this, this, that is missing. So go and shoot again. And the, 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 the Greek filmmaker I was talking to by, um, to you a few minutes ago, her name is Maria Kurkuta, and, and she, she wanted me to, she asked me to see her images and, and, and see if something was possible. Chantal did that too also for South and for Laba. But it's not possible. We have to jump and to, f and to find the film as it is. Because the fact that maybe uh, uh, an image is missing is, is also saying something. Uh, it is also part of the film. It's, we don't have to um, show everything, uh, but provoke um, the, the, the need and the interest and the desire of searching. So it's, I don't really know how to answer your question. Of course, for me, as, as being someone who edits film, I'm attached to the image that are in the film because they get to have a new, uh, a, a new, a new life, a new existence by being in the film and by being also interrupted at one point. So, you know, it's like a new, uh, yeah, a new, new, new life. I don't know how to say it differently. But it's, I, I don't have a really firm answer. And the second uh, um, part of your question is, is what exactly is? How, um, how is it possible to help the young filmmakers to, uh, or, um, overcome their fear. Um, well, <laughs> I think um, well, I, I, I want to uh, answer to you very in a very simple way. For me, it's to do what I'm doing now. 
it means that I try to uh, accept to uh, go and, and meet people as often as possible and to share this way of doing and to try to uh, um, give to the young editors confidence that that and to help to have the strength to help the young filmmakers who are more uh, often more anxious and yeah it's it's I I can't tell I mean it's for each person different you, you can ask uh, some people in the room maybe could have tell you how I help, I don't know. I, I try to help as, 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 as strong as I can. And I know also, also that sometimes uh, it's not easy to, to find uh, great films to edit. So I know it's also a problem. I mean, I know there are problems, but I know also that things can happen. And Since we, there was a, um, one hand raised there, it's just that we will have to leave this room. Uh, uh, it's just that we need to leave the room in 10 minute stops, so that you know. But uh, unfortunately, we have this restriction. But obviously, we can continue. Uh, OK, so uh, as a colleague, uh, there's a, uh, a question. The last few years, uh, I've, I've had a lot of pressure from producers in, in terms of how many days you have for editing. And there's this thing that we see more and more in Greece lately. The producer tells the film director and the film editor to, that uh, the two of you are just doing the editing, forget about the sound, forget about the music. So we work on the film, we, we try to do exactly everything you said. We come to a point when we both have the feeling that the shot, any shot in the film is exactly as we wanted. If you put a frame, it's too long. If you cut a frame, it's too short. And then the producer takes a film, they go to the musician, she, she or he writes the music on it, and this is an extra element, and it gives you more information. And suddenly the shots look shorter, and then it goes to the sound design, and the sound designer puts more and more. And then both the film director and I see the film and we feel we never edited. How do you deal with this? Do you yeah, ask for all painful. the elements from the beginning? No, that's horrible. I mean, uh, <laughs> how I deal with that, I, 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 I have to say I, I refuse to let the film go. So if there is not, uh, if I, if there is not any budget for me going to the sound. I go, I go even if uh, I'm not invited or paid or anything, because the film is it can be ruined. Uh, the film of Christophe Bisson I just talked to you about a few minutes uh, into the world. Uh, it was given to a, to a sound editor, and all the beginning of the film was based on it's a, a man who had a cancer of the vocal, uh, and so and so he began to recreate his voice, re reconstruct his voice, and so all the beginning of the of the editing is on black black uh, many blacks and with sounds of breathing and water and and things like that, and the editor sound editor she uh, uh, took everything you know she nettoyed come on clean the the sound tracks and so there was nothing so when i uh, arrived i said no 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 and it happened many times to me and it's just not possible so i don't know you know i i'm not i try to share with you uh, a, 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 um, a desire and a strength and the possibility of resistance but i know that it's not easy i know also that I have a certain, you know, people don't ask me uh, to edit in, in circumstances where I can't give everything. I, so I, I'm lucky also, I'm favorisé, um, I'm um, privileged, yes, thank you. Um, so it's, it's easy for me to say, you shouldn't, you know. I'm just trying to tell you that uh, I think it's very important to, to resist to some, even if, uh, yeah, after it creates other difficulties. And I, it's, it's true also in music, it's true everywhere, but it's true, you know, 
so yeah, how I deal with that, I, it's very, very painful. And, uh, and, 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 and more and more I, I ask from the beginning to work on the sound editing and I want to meet if there is a technical uh, um, need of uh, sound editing. I, 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 I want really to, 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 I mean, when I say technical, it's because sometimes you have to add uh, tracks for stereo, Dolby, and that. I really want to meet the person and come and see often and go always to the mixing. Uh, I mean, um, it's, I know it's, uh, but it's it's a very very important point. I mean, I, I would ask also to have the music from the beginning, because uh, it's like if also they they think that uh, they they uh, um, I mean they it's always easy to say they as uh, as if they was so some monstrous and we are great people, but it's. Um, but some people think that you, with music, you, you put music on the emptiness so people don't get bored. But that's, you know, it, even to say it, it, it hurts me. Claire, thanks so much for uh, being here today. Thank you. And thank you all for the discussion. Thank you.